Some institutions define a nation, but what happens when the government decides to redefine them? In 1931, one man, P.C. Mahalanobis, Boys, gave India something no other country had at that time, a scientific brain, the Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. It became the heart of India's intellectual infrastructure, the place that planned our economy, built our first indigenous computer and trained minds who shaped the world's understanding of data and probability. For nearly a century, ISI stood for freedom with responsibility, a sanctuary where truth served science, not politics. Legends like C.R. Rao, S.R.S. Vardhan walked its corridor, turning numbers into rational policy. ISI was not just an institute, it was an idea that intellect must remain free even in our democracy. But today, that very brain is under attack. In September 2025, the Ministry of Statistics quietly released a new draft law, the Indian Statistical Institute Bill 2025. It proposes to repeal the ISI Act of 1959, the same law that made ISI an institution of national importance and guaranteed its academic independence. On paper, it sounds like modernization, but in reality, it rewires the soul of Indian science. The new bill replaces ISI's Democratic Council, a body of elected faculty and scholars, with a board of governors dominated by government nominees. The Academic Council, once the heart of all academic decisions, will now only recommend the director position. Once chosen for vision, become subject to government-led searches, periodic reviews, and easy removal. In simple words, autonomy out, obedience in. When science begins to ask for permission, innovation dies. Imagine a future where every research direction, appointment, or collaboration needs bureaucratic approval instead of scholarly debate. The institute that once advised the government on how to think with data could now be told what to think. And buried inside the fine print lies another danger, privatization disguised as reform. The bill demands financial self-sustainability. It sounds harmless, but it means ISI will be pushed to earn its own money, which means raising fees, cutting stipends, or commercializing research. The poor student who once received a stipend purely for merit may now soon need a bank balance to qualify. The next Mahalano boys might never even get a chance to study there. Worse, the draft arrived without any white paper, without consultation, and during the festival season when India was not watching. There was no note explaining why the old 1959 Act could not simply be amended. Just silence followed by a bill. But ISI's community refused to stay silent. Alumni, scientists and students from across the world began to speak. The Hindu, The Telegraph, The Print, Times of India and Anand Bazar Patrika reported widespread concern. Thousands signed petitions demanding the government to withdraw the bill and hold open consultations before rewriting the law that guards India's scientific freedom. Because this is not only about ISI Kolkata, it's about how India treats knowledge itself. If the Indian Statistical Institute, which is the brain that planned the nation, can lose its autonomy, what's the guarantee that tomorrow it's not IISC, IITs, or any institute that dares to think independently? This is not a rebellion. It is a civil constitutional appeal. Reform is necessary. Repression is not. India can fix inefficiencies without dismantling the societal model that made ISI unique. What the academic community asks is simple. Keep the education free, maintain stipends, and let academic councils decide on academics, protect the Kolkata headquarters, and ensure transparency in governance. India does not just need a smart set of people, it needs free thinkers. When institutions lose independence, nations lose innovation. The ISI Act of 1959 was more than legislation. It was a promise that intellect would always remain free from fear or favor. So before silence becomes policy, speak up. Share this video so more citizens could understand what's at stake. Because when we lose institutions like ISI, we don't just lose a university, we lose India's intellect, 
its legacy and our future. So save ISI, save Indian science. By the way, if you want to know more about ISI and what's the significance, what's at stake, watch this full video. The link is in the description where I have explained in details about ISI, what does it offer, the significance, campuses, courses, and it's important to know for you as well. And if you're preparing for JE, NEET, ISI, CMI, IET, NIST, check out Kalam Batch where we do all this in detail and thousands of students are already preparing successfully. All the best. See you in the next video.